Dude, I don't want to fight with you. Leave me alone. Hey, dude, how are you? Okay. Good afternoon. It's Friday. Jeez, what is it? Twenty second. I think it is the twenty second. The two two of the ten of the two one. The two two of the ten of the two one, or the Americans would say the ten of the two two of the two one. So, just to introduce this video, Piccadilly Gardens behind me. I am the unofficial mayor of Manchester. I've earned my uh, key to this city by fucking fucking up crackheads. And uh, the video you're about to see, this intro is more to, I guess, reassure some of my more paranoid uh, viewers who uh, cannot understand that my camera, my smartphone, isn't recording 24-7. Sometimes I'm not filming. Now, the footage you're about to see is the aftermath of me seeing old Cracky give a... Uh, one, one, a person that earns a living here in the, in the food market, giving him a hard time getting right up in his face when he was trying to make a phone call. So I went to my colleague, <laughs> my fellow street worker, and I said, are you okay? And then the guy that you're about to see, he then uh, jabs his finger in my chest and mutters something at me. So I pushed him over onto his back and then I started filming. Enjoy the video. Oh, it's the grumpy, short-haired, uh, dyed blonde PCSO. I've just missed the shot of her telling... Oh, she's chatting to my friend Kaya. Peace be upon him. Nice guy, actually. Um, I just missed the shot of her telling the homeless guy he wasn't allowed to sit in the rain and beg anymore. Can't believe she actually enforced the law. My God, is the rest of Manchester going to do that? Yeah, go away. So amazing. This guy is so amazing, yeah? Yeah. yeah go away. Yeah. yeah. Don't come too close to me again. You'll get fucked up, dude. Yo, yo, You're going to get scared. fucked up. <laughs> You'll get fucked up, dude. Fuck off. No, no, it's alright, man. Just leave it and walk on. Yeah, That's yeah. Sorry? Oh, am I? Okay, he's scared of me. Good. Threatened to slice me. Threatened to slice me. Oh. Yeah, you're threatening to slice me. Come on then. They're all scared of me. I can't get a grip of them. Are you? Anyway, tell you what. Dude, do you remember me? Do you remember me? Do you remember the metal crutch around the back of your head? Of course yeah, you will. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll why, why won't you? Uh, why won't you attack me right now? Why won't you attack me right now? Are you scared of me? Are you scared of me? Are you scared of me? Hey, I promise, honest. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, I do. I do. I do think I'm a big guy. I do think I'm a big guy. Dude, you're, you're gonna hey, just. Listen, listen, you're a star today. on my channel. I'm real good, see? I'm real good, see? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dude, your death hey, threats you bore me. RIP, I love the people. Yeah. RIP, rest in peace, you. brother. Yo, yo. May God I bless you. May Jesus turn your life around. May Jesus turn your life around. And she fell my You're Yeah, I'm gonna die today. I hope so. I hope so. Give me some excitement. Mingles my sweat with you. Oh, I love you so. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Oh, never. You're never more than six meters from a crackhead in Manchester. Now I hope these two are going camping, going to a music festival, because my heart sinks if I think there are two more young men coming to live on the street for the demons to pick on their uh, spiritual carcasses, the usual suspects that you've uh, that you know so well from my channel. Let's hope that they are going camping. And here's old Black Eye, one of the instigators that attacked me up at Piccadilly Gardens uh, a few weeks ago. Waiting for his uh, colleague to shoplift at Tesco's. You'll know him from the old video I did with Marty Blackborough and also the video called The Defeated Male's Exit. I believe he might be 
quite prominent in it. And uh, true to form, he does kind of have a black eye still. Love it when people get leg tattoos. You'll find them always wearing shorts, no matter what the weather, no matter how cold and windy it is, because they've made an investment in being really cool. All right, behind me is the famous Cafe Nero at uh, Piccadilly Gardens. I don't know how it stays open. It's just a den of scumbags, crackheads, and drug dealers. There's fights, there's stabbings. How is the Cafe Nero still open? Do the bad people drink espresso at such a rate that it's worth it? I watched June the other day. Where is it? June. Oh my God, does it live up to the hype? Yes, it does. Absolute triumphant masterpiece. Go and see it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back with Blue. How are you, Blue? I'm all right, my friend. So, Blue, um, I understand uh, you're no longer hanging out at Piccadilly Gardens. No, not a chance. What's, what's new in your life? Um, I've got a beautiful lady that I'm in love with. Yeah? Um, and I've got somewhere to live. Yeah? So, I'm not homeless. So. Okay, and what happened um, with the spice uh, sellers up in oh, Piccadilly? You know, mate. Uh, it's everywhere, isn't it? It's just an epidemic. But um, it seems to have sorted out. Yeah. It seems to be like it's gone. And did they, did you have any trouble off the spice dealers? Oh, um, not the spice dealers per se, but I got bad there. You must have seen it. Have you seen it? A well, nerd. I heard that a you're nerd. the hardest man that hangs out at Piccadilly Gardens. I'm not so going to say that, but... You are. You're the hardest. Because you're the same height as me. I don't hit people back. That's the problem. Why not? Yeah, if they deserve it, you got to hit them back. I know that. Right. Anyway, let's get a hug up. Cheers, Blue. He's a Take good care. guy. So are you. Take care and send my love to your girlfriend. Take care, man. See ya. We're uh, here on the main drag. There's Market Street. And um, how do I say this in a way that uh, isn't you know, overly like conservative, but also like respects free speech. There's free speech and then there's using erect penises uh, for everyone to see in your advertising. I don't know. Okay, everybody, I'm, uh, it's uh, tough to get content today. So we're back onto the World Mission Society Church of God. Now, for those of you who have not seen my uh, recent videos, this, this, <laughs> discussing the Church of God. They are a South Korean cult. South Korea loves their Christian cults. They love their Moonies. They love their like spiritual advisors. There was that scandal of, uh, I was wondering, how are you? I said, TAU's here, something's happening. You take care, have a good weekend. All good, mate, take care. Um, they're just getting coffee, God damn it. Oh, there they are, they, they've clocked me. They love it, oh yeah, they've seen it. They've seen... Oh, there they all are. So anyway, in case you've not seen my previous videos discussing the World Mission Society Church of God, they have a little old lady in Seoul, in South Korea, who is God. And I don't mean like a metaphor for God. I don't mean the idea of God. In their cult, she is actually the God. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's just that when the spice hits, it hits quite hard. Okay, guys. Dreadlock Twitcher is still twitching. It's worth getting the long shot. Let's go in. Let's go 20 times zoom. Get out of my shot! Where is he? Oh, God, I'm lost. There, oh, there he is. He's just looking for his contact lens, guys. Don't worry. He's just looking for his contact. He'll almost find it. Now he's uh, he's Twitcher of the Year. Let's pretend we're watching something here. Okay, viewers, we're just pretending we're watching something, and she stopped chatting. Come on, lady, let it out. Start singing again. Here we go. Here we go. Has she clocked me filming? Oh shit, she's gonna. Here we go, bringing laughter. The word brings laughter to the flesh and bone to the bones. Something about flesh and bones. Cheapskate moving. Will you cheapskate smart folks that are a waste of money? 
Is she making fun of my cheap smartphone? I'm not, dude, I don't want to fight with you. Okay, listen, I don't want to fight with you, so... All right, leave me alone, please. I don't want to... Dude, I don't want to fight with you. Not well, and you're recording her. I don't want to fight with you, dude. Mate, the woman's clearly not well, and you're taking advantage of a vulnerable woman. Oh, what, do you want me to do? Do you want me to ignore her? Listen, can I just say, who the fuck are you to be telling me what to do? I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm saying you're taking advantage of people. You're doing your Everyone's entitled to their free views. I believe I'm doing okay. You think I'm not doing okay. And by uploading videos like that, I'm profiteering from people's vulnerable situations. It actually makes you a scumbag, mate. Good, good. It makes me a scumbag. Have a great weekend. Yeah, love you too. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, yeah, love you too, dude. Yeah, take care. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love you too, man. Yeah, yeah, you really told me. You really told me. Thank you. Dude, I don't want to fight with you. Leave me alone. Hey, dude, how are you? You okay? Dude, I'm not interested. Let's have a look. Let's see what's going on. Okay, we're live on patrol. Live on patrol with the handsome and the beautiful. Right, they are certainly, they're looking for someone usually here in Piccadilly Gardens. It's the great crazies, it's the crackies, and nine times out of 10, it's a breach of bail conditions when they're banned from the city center. They're looking. Oh, I think they found them. They found them. No, they're just going back to their van. Mate, have you lost something? Are you looking for a contact lens or something? Are you looking for a contact lens? I'll help you find, have you lost something down there? I'll find it with you. No, all right, no worries, man. Take care. Okay, guys, we just found uh, some of the markety bits. And uh, this is, uh, we're entering the, the golden triangle of uh, Primark, McDonald's, and uh, Morrison's marks the triangulation point. There's always some drama going on here. I'm here with a guy wearing a crown. It's Friday afternoon. Sir, why are you wearing a crown? Someone gave it to me and I decided it's a precious gift to wear a crown, of course. You know what? We are all kings. And uh, are you uh, praising any particular king or just well, king, king of David, the self? Of course. You're King David. Is your name David as well? Yes, exactly. Brilliant. And um, I have 170,000 uh, subscribers. Would you like to say any nice uh, peaceful messages from the, the viewers while we're here? Uh, well, in... if you hear about a messiah, make sure you follow him. Like Jesus, for example? Yeah. Well, a modern day one, of course. I'm trying to be that, so I'm hoping I'll find it. Oh, you're trying to be a modern day messiah? Yes, when I go to synagogue, I have to take off my head covering so to look when I learn Bible. So this is something that I make to make sure to set an example when I take off my head covering to say there's a reason. Yeah. Do you think deep down every single human being is potentially a messiah or are some people chosen above others? Well, there's going to be a certain task that you must do to be a part of the messiah's following. So this is it. You need to just follow that path. Thank you, David. And is that an Israeli accent I sense there? Actually, I'm Australian. Australia? You don't yes. sound like an Aussie, mate. No, my dad is from South Africa and my mum from Ukraine. Nice mix. I'm half Brazilian, half Scottish. Well, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, David. All the best. And uh, please subscribe to the Charlie Veach channel, if you remember. Thank you, sir. Take care. Thank you. Okay, we're still on patrol with the two officers. We're coming around the back of Piccadilly into what's called, very originally, Back Piccadilly. 
And uh, usually when they turn this corner here, the drug dealers start scurrying. The police sometimes give chase. Let's hope it happens today, but probably not. Probably not. The camera, the observer, actually affects the results of the quantum experiment. And uh, they're now from... Oh, no, he's on his radio. Something's happening. Yep, he's playing with his radio. This is uh, your live, uh, live commentary to what you can see with your own eyes. But just like football, sometimes it's nice to have... Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, what's going on? Oh, suspicious. It's fine. No, nobody caught you guys. Nobody caught you. You got away with it this time. You got away with it. I'm joking. Relax. <laughs> she says that I'm um, inappropriate for using the gentleman as my backdrop. And I said to you, why would you interact with a cameraman? It doesn't matter. You're in the video now. And I said to you, what is actually worse is when people like you ignore them and don't treat them like human beings. Why don't... All right. Do you want to stay and debate it? Do you want to stay here and debate? You can take video and photos of me. I don't mind. My name's Charlie Veach. You should subscribe to my channel. But because you don't understand the context of what I'm doing, you decided to make a judgmental quick dig and you didn't expect me to come back and challenge you about it. But anyway, my name's Charlie Veach. Take care. You don't bother me. I don't want to bother you, which is why I'm stood three meters from you speaking politely. Take care. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a quite an action-packed day here in Manchester. You know, in fact, a bit quiet for a Friday. But still, I hope you see the challenges this city had. The guy's still looking for his contact lens over there. Um, I hope you see the cha the challenges this city has. And uh, I just want to thank you all for watching the Charlie Beach channel. I'll catch you again tomorrow.